Hey everybody, welcome into this new video of Sexpress. I'm going to be showing you how to get started with Pinterest ads to, let's say, to make this useful for your actual Shopify um, account. So it's actually really, really simple. What you want to do, first of all, is to have an actual Shopify store. And here, as you can see, I have here my study of Shopify. What I wanted to do is to link to my Shopify with Pinterest in order to get started. So first of all, what I can totally recommend to you guys in order to get started, like the best way, like the best solution for all of us to get started with is to get actually all the information about your store. And then later on, what I want to do is to go into applications. And here I wanted to go with Pinterest. Now here let's go for search Pinterest into the, uh, let's say apps of the Shopify. And as you can see, we have the Pinterest free to install. I wanted to go and click in here. And now we can put our products in the front with millions of people. Let's go with add application. And then later on, I'm gonna hit now into granting the access from my store directly into Pinterest. So it is not a surprise to tell you guys you need to have an extra Pinterest account and to have access to all the editions of the uh, public account you want to go and go into your account and you can go with creating a business account. Business access in my case, it's been already been granted since I already have chose to have a business account into Pinterest. Now I can go into ads and create an actual campaign. Now that I have an actual campaign here into Pinterest, I can go back in here. Let's go into connect your Pinterest account inside Pinterest, inside Shopify. And there we go. As you can see, we have the Pinterest business account already been set up and we have the claim it website in here. Now, if I focus now into the continuity setup, it's going to be helping us a lot to create the Pinterest sales channel and create some campaigns. Let's go into continue setup. This one should be sending us into the marketing section. And here you want to go into the billing. Into the building, what I want to do is to update my billing information in order to manage my ads and make it a little bit more faster. I have a Pinterest tag, really, really easy. And here we have the shopping. Now it says merchant approval pending. What they're actually doing is to approve our Pinterest merchant guidelines. So once we are approved, your product will be published into Pinterest within the next 48 hours. So it's going to be looking really, really great. If I go back here into Pinterest, I can go and look out my actual products. But here, what I want to do is to get started with the actual campaign creation since my Shopify and my Pinterest are not being created. So I believe that we are actually all into the same side here. So focus into Pinterest. Let's go into campaign creation. Whether you wanted to choose a manual campaign or an automated campaign, let's go for the manual campaign and hit into get started. What I want to do in order to create an actual campaign of whatever product you wanted to, first of all, is to look out images, videos, everything you wanted to be featured in your actual ad. Let's say, for example, that what I want to do is to actually help to bring people to check out these actual product. So if I use this product, I wanted to use all the media I can possibly can to promote my products into my actual Pinterest. So I'm going to go back in here into the campaign details. Now, as you can see, we have the campaign objective. What I wanted to do is to choose from build awareness, drive consideration or to get conversions. What I can totally suggest to you, if you want people to, let's say, buy your products, to focus into get conversions and go into the actual catalog sales, drive sales on your product with Shopify ads. So what I want to do is to hit into view catalogs. And this one should be taking me now into my actual catalogs of my store. In my case, my catalog of Shopify is on the review. So uh, I believe that this one might be taking one or two days in order to be, let's say, granted the access. But just in case that this one is not enabled yet and you wanted to get started like right away, I can totally suggest you to focus into conversions. Now, what I wanted to do is to go into set up a conversion data. So inside the so inside the actual ads of Pinterest, what I want to do is to create a Pinterest tagged into my store. So I'm going to focus and to try it now. We have already done this before. That's the reason why I told you to download out the actual application. And lastly, if I go into my Pinterest inside Shopify, we can see that we have our account and we have an actual Pinterest ad credit totally for free. So let's go into create an ad. And this one should be taking us by Pinterest, activity details, 
the product we wanted to get started with. Let's say, for example, I'm going to choose, I don't know, maybe this one. I'm going to hit now into add the budget daily, of course, the gender targeting, the location, the age targeting. And here is how it should be looking my actual product. So I'm going to hit now into done and here into the right part, it should be appearing how it's going to be looking our actual product. So activity name, let's say, for example, that this is uh, only for ourselves. So let's go for this is like fun water um, tire number one, right? So I can hit now into schedule and we are actually good to go. And if I focus now into analytics, here should be appearing how many total sales I have made so far, the sales by channel, the online store conversions. And if I scroll a little bit down, it's going to be showing me the sales attributing to marketing. This is something really, really important. And you can check out the B reports. So this is something that you could be, let's say, checking out uh, weekly or even monthly, but this is how you can track stuff from Pinterest into Shopify. We can do this inside Pinterest if you wanted to. So there you have it, guys. Hopefully this was a very useful information for you. Whether you wanted to create ads directly into Pinterest or inside Shopify, both of them are actually totally safe and easy to use. So uh, hopefully guys, this was a very useful information for you guys. Thank you so much for watching the video guys. Uh, well, have lots of fun there with Shopify, Pinterest, and hopefully I can see you on the actual next video.